So many people ask, well, how is God going to hear me? We are in a church like this. And all of us are praying, how is God hearing all of us? Imagine on Sunday how many churches are praying. How many Christians pray every hour? Do you realize that one in four atheists pray? The ones that don't even believe in God, one in four, they pray just in case. But I want you to understand, turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Prayer is not for information. It is for your formation. In prayer, we are not giving God information. We are being formed, not informed. So most of you think when we are praying, when I'm praying, I'm informing God. God already knows your prayer request. He is not going to be informed when you pray. It is you who is going to be formed when you pray. Why is it so? Because prayer is a protocol in the spirit. It is a guard, a security guard in the spirit. It is a close second camera in the spirit. It goes into the future. Remove every obstacle before you get there. And then when you walk into the future, it has already fixed the problems. So it is possible for you to send prayer into your future. It is not for answers to be given. It is for your formation. For your what? For your what? Your formation. The secret of Christianity is in your mouth. This mouth is not for eating. Greek rendering for this mouth is called stoma. The word stoma means a knife you used to cut down pieces. The problem is when you are praying, as you pray, you just stand there and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this, 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 my things. Your mind should be thinking, I'm using a knife. No, 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 no. In the name of Jesus, I don't like poverty. That's okay. But if your mind goes to a deeper sense, say, I don't like poverty. I, I, I. Where is your mind when you are praying? Begin to visualize stepping something. Stepping something. Caving something into. I wish I could talk to somebody under the influence of my voice. Stoma. Sit down. Some of you say, you prophesy to me, it has not happened yet. Another prophet said this, it has not happened yet. Prophecy does not bring you a miracle. The Bible says, use these prophecies as weapons. Aish. War weapons, artillery. If I say you are going to be rich and you come out there and you see that there is a sickness in your bones that is about to kill you, rise up from that bed and say, hey, I'm not rich yet. I can't die now. I'm not rich yet. I cannot die now. You don't know where Hachidone came from. It won't fall. It'll never go down. I was preaching and God said, you will not go down. I said, hey. I was minding my own business. And God said, you will not go down. I said, I never thought it. He said, you will not go down. A few weeks later, they were fighting me, helter skelter, back and forth, front, back everywhere. But there was a word I used as a weapon. I will never go down. You will never go down. What were you thinking prophecy was? There were not ways to make you get a miracle. No, we are supplying you with artillery. You are holding weapons like this. And then the enemy said, you are going to die. You say, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. With this bazooka. With this AK-47. With this intercontinental ballistic missile. No, I'm too global to be local. So if they say you are local, tell them or what? I'm too global. You will not go anywhere. Uh, I'm not even going to work there. Uh -uh. I'm just going to visit and shop there. I don't work there, I shop there. I know some of you are looking for visas to go to another country. To go and work there. 
I have news for you. You will go to shop there. I wish you could understand that this is a weapon I'm giving you. I'm giving you artillery. Power packed artillery. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. This is why sometimes when people hear me pray, you know, you know, you know, prayer is a certain language. I can't go to prophets and go like, I love you. She'll be like, hey, what's, what's happening? <laughs> but how is that working like this? You know, you can't talk to your wife like that. I love you now, very fast. <laughs> there is a certain, a certain, uh, pizzazz. Mm. A certain level of romantic type of thing you can use. But the reality is when you are being romantic, you have a certain way of talk. Huh. I love you now. Ah. You, you, you use tongues. You use lyrics that will confuse the person like, hey, hey. What I've been told today. Mm. Your personality is, is as fundamental as an oasis. Now, even in the realm of the spirit, create language. Language that can lure the star. Yeah. So there is a time where I'm speaking with the Holy Spirit. You know, using the words of the Holy Spirit, talking to God. And I just go, let us see subtly haste. These are love words. <laughs> then when enemies strike, enters <laughs> Osorode Kaskalo. If you get into that prayer section, you hear the weapons that are now being used. This is no longer applying lipstick in the spirit. <laughs> they are weapons. You can use a bomb in the spirit. <laughs> I'm here to use something. Now I'm just here to announce I've already used the intercontinental ballistic missile for you. I used them. I'm just here to to fulfill you're not hearing me. I said I'm just here to fulfill all righteousness as the Lord said. If I say you are going to be rich and you come out there and you see that there is a sickness in your bones that is about to kill you rise up from that bed and say hey i'm not rich yet i can't die now i'm not rich yet i cannot die now it's already finished 